welcome to the Women in Leadership Body, Mind, Soul, and Business podcast. I'm Charlie. And I'm Heather. And together we are working to connect women in leadership and business, improving the health and wellness of our community, body, soul, and mind, connecting to the heart and soul of who we are and what we do. Oh, you guys, it's four agreements week. We are on the fourth agreement this week, which is don't make We're assumptions. We're on the third agreement. The today the third of the fourth of the fourth agreement (laughs) it's so confusing okay i know (laughs) keeping track of this wonderful little book the four agreements by don miguel ruiz you can find the link for it on our website at www.womeninleadershipbsmb.com but this little nugget is full of some really juicy stuff so the first agreement be impeccable with your word And the second agreement, don't take anything personally. Um, Go back and listen to those and it'll bring you right into today's agreement, the fourth agreement, which is don't make assumptions. The third, third of the fourth agreement. (laughs) It's real, you guys, this is who we are. (laughs) So don't make assumptions. Find the courage to ask questions and express what you really want. Mm. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstandings, sadness, and drama. With just this one agreement, you can completely transform your life. Ooh, this is so great. I'm really glad that how this pairs with um, practicing causing positive change mm-hmm and um facing our fears like mm-hmm. the, it just all goes together so beautifully do you think it's scary it sometimes to not make assumptions sometimes it is because Maybe. you have to actually ask the questions right we you know we can guess which is the same thing as assuming right maybe what the person's going through what their story's been why they're reacting in a certain way but if we make assumptions about something or someone, then we're, we're in our own head about it. Right. And we, as society, we've um, come to these agreements of kind of like what those assumptions are. Right. And we project our, and that's, that's like projecting our own beliefs onto somebody else. Yeah. You know, put projecting our own ethics onto somebody else that maybe have learned something different through their own life experiences and their own story and these are all things that we learn goes along with judging each other right don't make assumptions and judging each other are like very parallel um but by not doing those things and looking at it from a different perspective i think makes a huge huge amount of difference yes um, this agreement doesn't serve us at all. We know that assumptions are like and doesn't feel good when we assume them. Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel good. Like when other mm-hmm. people assume things about us, how does that feel in your body? Like, are you aware mm-hmm. of when someone else assumes something about you? Right. And how does that make you feel? Now, do you want to make someone else feel that same way? Right. And assumptions can are, are usually thought to be more on the crueler side of things but assumptions can also be the other way around I mean it could swing either direction but usually when we assume something it is like worst case scenario yes right so um recently somebody made the assumption that because my son had been through homelessness that he didn't have parents Hmm. that's a weird assumption to me right and then when he stood up for that was like what do you mean I have like, parents I have yeah. parents they didn't understand him standing up and talking for himself so you know because right I, we've taught our children to talk for themselves right and by making assumptions we're believing what is in our head to be true right even though it's often not it's often not true. that's how you are living and not reality mm-hmm. when we make assumptions or assumptions are being made about us we take it personally 
mm-hmm. which is one of the other agreements you guys don't take things personally <laughs> okay so they work together uh, when we make assumptions about others we are not being impeccable with our word mm-hmm. even if it's only in our heads we hear what our brain is thinking right because our thoughts create our emotions and our, our emotions creates mm-hmm. our thoughts and our thoughts create our world. So don't make assumptions because by making assumptions, you are not being impeccable with your word. And um, well, that, that's one of the other agreements. You can't right. do those other two without this one. Okay. We put ourselves right back in hell by the emotional poison that we give each other when we make assumptions why do we do that to ourselves why do we make so many assumptions um you know it's like do we make these based on our own experiences sometimes do we make it based on what societal norms yeah i think that it's a cultural thing right and it's pressure and and a lot of the assumptions are like are in our the culture of like how our family operates Mm -hmm. right like there's this uh, assumption about how it's going to be and so then there's these un unspoken Mm -hmm rules Mm -hmm. and then when those unspoken rules are broken that's when feelings and right and that's the whole domestication of humans process right yeah it creates the whole thing and so then because we have these assumptions that's how we're living in hell Mm -hmm. yep and that's why it's so hard because we create our own heaven or hell it just depends on how what choices we make along the way and that's why we get stuck in the muck Mm-hmm. Ouch. Okay. We gossip about our assumptions, gossiping our way into that negative cycle, transferring that poison to one another because that is how we learned to communicate. Yeah. Let's communicate differently. Yes. Okay. This would be made easier if it if we weren't so afraid to ask for clarification, which goes right into our suture topic. Yeah, or a mindset topic this week of facing your fears, right? Yeah. So don't be afraid to ask those clarifying mm-hmm. questions. Mm-hmm. And if you find yourself in a situation where you didn't do it, but you're aware that you didn't do it, that's the great time to start talking about those questions you could ask. Right. And if it, anybody ever makes you feel like the questions you are asking is stupid, there's no such thing as a stupid question, only an ignorant answer. Mm. Okay. Your questions are valid. Your curiosity is valid. You wanting to know more, understand more is valid. There are no stupid questions. Ask your questions, get clarification. And if somebody, whoever you're asking the questions to is like bullying you because you're asking so many questions, find somebody else to ask questions to. (laughs) Easy as that. Maybe you just don't deal with that person and you move on. Or maybe you say, I'm asking questions because I want clarification because I really want to understand um, what this is. Now, there, some of us have different kind of thought processes and where my son has a very mechanically minded brain and he understands how those things work. I do not. So he tries to explain things to me. I'm like, dude, you lost me at oil. (laughs) And (laughs) so then he'll go back and try to explain it to me again. I'm like, Gabriel, honey, I love you. You're way more intelligent in this area than I am. And that's okay. I appreciate your knowledge. It's hard to keep up with them. It is. We got some smart kids in our lives. Yes. Um, Making assumptions in relationships is even worse. We assume our partner or friend is going to do what we want because they know us so well and we get upset if things don't go as planned. Guilty. Creating your own hell, right? Mm -hmm. Because you had this assumption of what you were going to have happen. Mm -hmm. And then when it didn't happen, you're upset about it. Is that valid or fair? Yeah. We as anybody, (laughs) we as humans are dreaming all these things up in our imagination. It's all in our head. It's in our imagination. It's our world that we've created for ourselves. 
Yeah. Let's get out of our heads, you know, and actually see things and not make assumptions. Um, and we do this, we do this because as humans, we have the tendency to justify everything to feel safe, right. to feel safe, not to actually be safe, but to feel safe. And to create some sort of uh, place in our minds where we're safe. Right. Whether it's, yeah, we assume things about people or situations when we know nothing about them. Right. We know nothing of it, right? Uh, so you can't, you can't just assume things, ask for clarification, get questions, understand more. Um, and and have you ever thought about something like a problem, problem solving, right? And you thought there must be a better way. There's got to be an easier way to do this. And we, you know, assume that, let's say technology, right? We assume technology is going to work the way we want it to. <laughs> okay. Have we ever actually known technology to work 100% the way we want it to? Or the way it did the day before. Never. <laughs> the way it did it yesterday. <laughs> right. It never works it's exactly never, the, the same. same right? uh, there's always something else going on. And so there's some flexibility there. But um, do we go into our work day assuming that every that the internet's going to work, that the printer's going to print, that the Zoom's going to do its thing, that everybody's going to be um, in you know, doing all the things at all the right times. And it's just going to work like, a, you know, like a clock, like all the days it does. Clock. Some days it does. But then Sunday, I, I guess too, it helps that we've worked on our mindset mm -hmm. around the tech. I was like, we just roll well, with it. Even if it doesn't clog, we just put another gear in there and do it a different way. Sometimes <laughs> I just realized that. Bring that clock on the counter a couple of <laughs> times and keep going. But um, I have Cogsworth in my head. Cogsworth? Oh, from Beauty and the <laughs> Beauty Beast. And the Beast. Like, oh, he's okay. running and like parts are falling out. <laughs> That's what I feel like sometimes. <laughs> Crap, <Crumble> a <-lit>! Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> but if you start with that assumption and then something goes wrong, are oh, you reactive to it? Right. Or are you okay to just be in the flow and just figure out the next right step? Next right step. Mm -hmm. Which I think is actually going to go really well with the the real fourth <laughs> agreement, which is which we will talk about more tomorrow. But it's um, always do your best. Yes. Okay. It sounds simple, but it's a lot harder than it sounds. Right. Um, and 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 it it goes pretty deep. It goes pretty deep. So I'm, I'm excited to talk about that one because I definitely am an over, over try it. Okay. So <laughs> these, um, these agreements are made to be practiced every day, right? Um, again, the first one being be impeccable with your word. Speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. The second agreement is don't make, don't take anything personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. Mm. And today is the third agreement, don't make assumptions. Find the courage to ask questions and to express what you really want. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstandings, sadness, and drama. With just this one agreement, you can completely transform your life. And remember, in order to not make assumptions, you also have to not take things personally mm -hmm. and be impeccable with your word mm -hmm. so that others don't take things personally so that they don't make assumptions about you. You know, all, all that stuff comes together. And by 
adding these things, and we'll talk more about the always do your best tomorrow. I don't want to spill all the secrets. Um, it creates that positive change, that tapas yes. that we're talking about this week. Yeah, you know, um, it's making that change, creating that new habit, um, melting away the old habits. And, you know, with tapas, tapas is often, you know, like the heat, the heat of the heat, oh, the, fire. the pressure, the fire, Ooh. right? Because fire and energy, the tapas creates change. Ooh. It's that passion, right? Okay. Um, add and burn through ruinous conditioning. Um, hold on. I think but it started on the page started before. On the page it before. confused you. I think it, it did. Yeah, it starts right here. Melt away old habits and burn through ruinous conditioning. Offer negative behavior into the fire of tapas and chart your course towards freedom. Nikolai Bachman who is the author of our sutra book that we have been going through every yes. week. So we're super excited um, that you were here with us today and you got to learn um, with us as we talk and face our fears and just keep moving forward and learning how to be just better humans. Mm -hmm. and, and using just a few simple tools that we have learned along the way that completely transformed um, our lives and our mindsets, um, where we both come from uh, different kind of past. I wouldn't really say different is the word I'm looking for, but challenging. Yeah, yeah. Challenging life past. is life, life. So life no lives. matter where you come from, what you're doing, where you're at, life still lives. Mm -hmm. And these tools have, have helped us get through, survive, and overcome a lot of um different things in our lives yes yeah. so we want to make sure we when, we're, when you're you. stuck in the muck mm -hmm. these are the tools that we use to climb out right exactly yeah, exactly so um work on conquering your fears this week and the four agreements and we um we appreciate you we appreciate you um next week is the last week for our cause of the quarter the boogie bin uh, we would like to make sure we give them a shout out and love and support. If you guys have any gently used uh, pet items or you would like to donate to the boogie bin directly, um, their links will be in the description. Drop below. And yeah. so make sure you check that out. Love, like, uh, and subscribe. You mm -hmm. know, they always say smash the button. Smash the button. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you guys send us a coffee... Guess what? 10% of every um, dollar that we we get goes back to our cost of the quarter every quarter. So we're blessed to be able to do that. And we would, couldn't do that without your guys' love and support. So yeah. um, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Namaste. Namaste.